Good morning, everyone. Gratitude. It's kind of an overcast morning here, but I think the sun's going to come up. Just maybe take a little while to get there. But I'm going to make this video today about when you're healing. And I'm going to talk about um, a sort of stage you go through when you're healing or you start to change your life. So I'm going to title it, um, Sometimes Things Can Get Worse Before They Get Better. And what I mean by that is, I'm just going to shift around a wee bit here and get a long view down there. But what I mean by that is when you go through a challenge in time or you decide to change, maybe make big dramatic changes in your life, a lot of people get discouraged because what often can happen is you're eager to make changes and you're eager to follow a different path and you get maybe excited about going in a new direction but what you've got to remember is is you've been in a patterned way of living for however long it's been for you some people it could have been a few years sometimes some people it might have been their whole lives and something's happened where they decide enough is enough, I can't do this anymore. Something really major has come into their life or maybe they've just been so stressed and um, they've had health problems and they know they need to change aspects of their life. But when you've been in patterns, you've got to remember that you have to work through those patterns and you're going to be changing those patterns and you'll probably be doing some healing as well. So when you start to change your life, what you might find is you start to lose people out of your life. And some people mightn't like that. They mightn't like the fact that you're changing. And it can become a bit disruptive. And things actually might get a little bit stressful. But you've got to remember that that is part of the change. Because if you have been living a life where certain people have not been for your greater good, not been supporting you, Maybe you could have been codependent or they could have been codependent. Maybe you were given too much of yourself and you were worn out. Maybe you were in a job you didn't like and it run your health down. It was a stressful environment, whatever it was. Or maybe you were, you just had maybe behaviours that were getting into, getting a lot of challenge, bringing a lot of challenges into your life. Got tongue tied there, sorry. But you decide to make the changes, and that's a great thing. It's a very powerful thing to start to become aware. But the reason I'm making the video is because I don't want you to get discouraged. I don't want you to get discouraged and say, "Well, I'm changing my life, so why aren't things getting better?" But you've got to remember that patterns take a little while to change. Your body and your mind has been working in a certain way for perhaps maybe a long period of time. And you've relied on this method of survival for a long time and those patterns become ingrained. So it's just like anything. It takes time for your mind and your body to realize you're changing. 
and it can be a difficult process because your mind wants to stay where it feels that it knows what it was doing the best. It wants to stay in that pattern. It wants to stay with the people it knows. Even if those people are not healthy, it wants to stay in the places it knows because that's all it knows. And when you make changes, your mind and your body can go, oh, hang on a minute, you know, this is different, this is new. So a lot of insecurities can come up and you'll need to process through those insecurities, learn and start to change and heal from things that were maybe keeping you to certain situations in your life. So what can happen is you can go through a period of turbulence and sometimes you might even go through what you call as a dark night of the soul. But it's actually a good thing. It's a positive thing. So if you start to lose people in your life or people start to leave your life, don't get disheartened. It's meant to be that way because in order, when you start to change, you're gonna become healthier. You're gonna become a different person when you come out the other side. So those people are no longer gonna belong in your new life. They're gonna to belong to the old you. So you've gotta remember when you're going through this challenge of the change, this turbulent, you know, some people might go through a bit more of a tougher period than others, depending on how long or how unhealthy the patterns have been in your life. So you've got to remember that you're breaking patterns. You're becoming a better version of the person that you were. And things will naturally fall away from you that don't fit into the old way that you were. So don't get discouraged, just keep going. And don't see these things as a negative. Look at them as a positive. So if you start to feel a bit scared, you start to feel maybe a little bit isolated, or maybe even you could get a little bit depressed, you know, try not to panic and say, oh my God, what's happening? Look at it like, this is you going through that change and just keep going keep going and let let the universe guide you through look at the changes as this is me going on my new direction and then once you start to release certain people once you start to come through that kind of a dark period of you healing and growing and changing, that is when you'll start then to feel better and you know you're coming out the other side of it because that hurt will start to become less and less and you'll start to get your energy back bit by bit. Now, everybody, it'll be different how long it's gonna take. It really just depends on the type of individual you are and how much, you know, maybe suffering or whatever the dynamics were playing out in your life. But I wanna encourage people not to give up. And once you start to come out the other side, you'll be a completely new version of yourself. And that's when you'll start then attracting new things in and new people in that will be more aligned to you. And it's very important that you don't fall into the old patterns. If you feel yourself thinking about old things or old ways, don't beat yourself up about it. You say, that's who I used to be, but this is who I am now.
and I'm so grateful for having come through that process. So keep going, keep changing, keep evolving, and I'll see you on the other side. Good luck.